When temperatures reach the 90s or higher, many of us are able to stay indoors, but that's not an option for everyone. Today, Kelloland's Whitney Faux talked with a few workers about how they're staying cool while on the job. Brady Daly is normally in a long sleeve shirt, but today he dressed for the weather. And I have quite a few homeowners that say, what are you doing out here? It's way too hot for this, but you know, typically bring your water and you're pretty good. He also plans ahead for when he's done working in the heat. Anytime I go park my car, I park it in the shade. Not to mention, like I said, always having a water bottle nearby really helps. Other workers have different tactics to cool off, especially those who work with asphalt that's anywhere from 200 to 250 degrees. It really works. It's hot. So the bottom of your feet actually get warm if you're staying on top of the asphalt at all. So by cooling them off, her feet actually cool down a little bit. The city of Sioux Falls also makes sure that a water cooler is with every team. They all have a vehicle nearby them too. So if they get overheated or feel overheated, they can go into the vehicle and cool off. In Sioux Falls, Whitney Fowkes, Kelloland News. And if you're not careful while you're outdoors, you could experience heat exhaustion. Symptoms include excessive sweating, dizziness, nausea, even goosebumps while in the heat. If you experience any of these, you should find some place to cool down to take a rest and drink water or a sports drink. Now contact your doctor if symptoms get worse. For more warning signs and heat-related illnesses, just click on this story at kelloland.com.